Mm -hmm. Oh, Bakers, hello there. Hey, this is Mark with the Practical Steels. Time to open up another bottle. And as you can tell, we are together. I'm Dan Cavallari with the Practical Still. Mark just asked me if I remembered my name, so we're to a good start here. Yeah, and I forgot to tell him to say his name. Yeah. So, it doesn't matter. It's about the whiskey. Yeah. yeah. Which, we, are, we are here in Dan's yard. So, mm -hmm. the world headquarters right back there. Lots of people, lots of noise, so we moved yeah. outside. This is a uh, Baker's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Single Barrel, 107 proof. It's the Baker's 7. Uh, if you know the history, back in the day when Booker No came up with the idea of small batch, Bakers was one of those. A couple years ago, they transferred from a small batch to a single barrel offering, and so now they tend to vary. This seven-year-old is actually eight years and seven months old. Mm. I have not had Bakers since the change. Have you? I've never even had Bakers. Never ever. even had Bakers. But I'm a, I'm a Booker's home, home homer, so I, I'm excited to try this. Yeah, so same whiskey. Now, this is going to be, I believe this is chill filter, not 100% sure. Uh, and certainly a little lower proof at 107 than Booker's, mm -hmm. but the same whiskey. And uh, so it should be familiar to you. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm excited for this. I've, I've passed on buying Baker's enough times that I feel kind of bad about it at this point. I always like Baker's. Yeah. Um, I, but I don't know. I stopped buying it a couple of years ago just because it seemed like in that market, mm -hmm. 50 or 60 bucks for that whiskey just didn't, it wasn't that good yeah. to me. How do you feel about I, it now? <laughs> well, I have not. Now now, I, now it's a better deal based yeah. on the market, yeah. and I've not had the single barrel version of it. I'm excited for this. I almost stopped pouring a little bit early, which I should know better. That's like a mark and a half pour. If you'd gone a little bit further, it'd be a Dan pour. There's your Dan pour. <laughs> Make Dan happy. Ooh. Ooh, I like that nose. And by the way, the... the <laughs> The bottle changed. The, the topper's cool. The yeah. bottle, bottle changed. Uh, on the surface, it looks not to be the cheap toppers that Beam seems to use. Yeah. Once you touch it, it is the cheap toppers that Beam seems Ooh. to use. I'd be really interested to try this right next to some Booker's, which I happen to have an open bottle of, by the way. What a good idea, Dan. Mm. Mm. If you are a mm. Beam... Slash Booker's slash Knob oh, yeah. slash Baker's fan. Mm. You gotta like that. Oh man. It's it's got all those baking spices that are pretty common in the Booker's for sure. Yeah, the funky little peanut thing. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I always talk about how I really don't like Basil Hayden's, but I actually get a little bit of that in there and I actually kinda like it. It's mostly in the back of the tongue. It's kinda like a I like the peanutty flavor, like you it's said. It's fruity too. Yeah. Mm, delicious. Mm-hmm. Um when I used to drink Baker's, I'd always wait a minute and get this lovely cherry. Mm. I'm not getting that, but it is a delicious whiskey. Uh, at 107 proof, it's kind of just right. I get berries right up front. I don't know if it's cherry exactly. Maybe that's the fruit I'm yeah. tasting. I just yeah. haven't parsed it out. Oh, anyway, um, I believe I paid $63, $67 for that. And that's getting harder to find, too. It is getting harder to find. That's yeah. why I bought it. I hadn't really seen it around our town. I was yeah. in uh, Wyoming, actually, and it was just sitting on a shelf. There was a bunch of actually seven-year-old ones, and this one eight-year-old one left, so I just grabbed it. Man, that finish, it, it keeps coming at you. Yeah. That's really yeah. good. Given that uh, proof's not exact, you don't have the unfiltered, uncut mm -hmm. aspect of it, but yeah. it does have yeah. the, the Bean Booker feel yeah, to it. No and doubt. You can find these more often. Than bookers these days and mm -hmm. when you find them they're 30 or 40 or 50 dollars less yeah i'm liking the way that lays out i think so too we will drink on this for a while go back to the bottle but right off the bat if you've been mm -hmm. on the fence about this one give it a try and if you've if you're like me and you drank the old small batch book uh bakers and you've moved into this what's the difference does it matter mm -hmm. is one better than the other have you tried the thir 13 year old yeah, 13 year old it comes yep 13 year have you tried that one is it any better this is this has right. got an excellent kind of you know there's a difference between to me burning and like a warming feel mm -hmm. this has a really spicy yeah it's just a beautiful warming feel all the way through the back of the palate just wonderful delicious oh cool I would, I would, for 60 bucks i would take that all day long yeah cheers cheers